a lot of people are talking about the book To Heaven and Back by Mary Neal. What are your thoughts on this book? Well, I've talked before, written, blogged uh, about other To Heaven and Back type books. Uh, and uh, those include 90 Minutes in Heaven by Don Piper and Heaven is for Real by Todd Burpo, the account of, the, of his son when he was three or four years old, uh, his son Colton. And one of my concerns that I've expressed in the past before I connect to Mary Neal's book is what's our, what's our authority? You know, I, in the end, when certain claims are made, these are people that love Jesus, they, they believe the word, I don't really see false doctrine in their books. I see a few things that are a little inconsistent with minor points mm -hmm. in scripture, like about do people really have wings and do people really have halos, right. which some claim to have so seen in heaven. Way. Yeah, but Mary Neal's book, To Heaven and Back, when I read it, I was much more seriously concerned. And the reason is because even though I don't, I, I don't question her love for Jesus, I don't question her honesty, her integrity. I, I think she sincerely re remembers what she's saying. She really believes these things were said to her. But one of the things she talks about is that she learned when she was in heaven and having a conversation with Christ, and she says it might have been Christ, it might have been an angel, but whoever it was, uh, this authoritative person in heaven was telling her and, and actually showing her about how people begin their lives in heaven. And then they come down to earth and are born. And so we begin in heaven in right relationship with God and our problem when we get to earth is that we forget where we've come from and who we really are and this relationship with God that we have enjoyed. And at one point she mentions from, from an eternity. Of course, only God exists from eternity past, but this whole notion is something that's absolutely foreign to scripture and in fact absolutely. contradicted from scripture because Jesus uh, talked about himself as coming from above, that he came from above, and he's the only one that came from above. Paul in 1 Corinthians talks about Jesus, the man, the God-man, who came from heaven to earth, whereas we as human beings begin our lives on earth even as Adam began his life on earth. So this is something that's just flat out biblically wrong. You could say it's, it's a heresy. It's false doctrine. Now you could say, well, that doesn't change a, a matter of salvation, right. you know, but so it's not as big a heresy as an utterly false gospel. But it does have some implications related to the gospel. For instance, do we really have a sin problem that alienates us from God? Is that where we started or did we start in a right relationship with God, which we then forgot about? Well, is our real problem bad memory or is our real problem that we are sinners in need of a relationship with Jesus Christ and that does you know connect with the gospel and is it true that mormonism has adopted this theology of preexistence yes absolutely and in fact um, Mormon Betty Eady wrote a book um, actually probably 20 years ago called Embraced by the Light. And in it, she taught exactly this same thing, that we begin our lives in heaven and then we come down to earth. And I knew as I was reading to heaven and back, boy, this sounds so familiar. And I thought, this sounds kind of like what I remember in Betty Eady's book. Sure enough, I went back to it and it's, it's absolutely full of it. Now, uh, Betty Eady had much more false doctrine in her book, Embraced by the Light, than Mary Neal has in To Heaven and Back. But certainly, how much false doctrine is too right, much. Right. And, and, and one of the things that I really believe is Christian publishers, and this is from a Christian publisher, need to take the responsibility to have some careful theological editing and to really question and challenge. And people say, well, this is my story. This is how it really happened. I say, yeah, but it needs to be stacked up against Scripture. Absolutely. It seems like small steps in the wrong direction are going to lead to a greater and greater you know, departure from the truth. That's Once right. Once you make a small step, it's hard to then change back. That's right. And we see that in Christian publishing. We see it in uh, some churches. We see it certainly in many Christian colleges. And it's all over the place. And the Scripture warns us against false doctrine, and we need to uh, speak God's truth and, and to refute it and stand against it. And sometimes the most dangerous false doctrines are the ones that are so, in, so wrapped in truth 
because they become harder to identify and more like just nebulous in general to draw the line. But at the same time, that line needs to be drawn. That's right. 